couldn't believe it. We just kicked off the set. And Royston starts playing a different tune to what I'm doing. I just I said, oi, you cock, what are you doing? And he's saying, you're playing the wrong tune. I said, you're playing the wrong tune. And he's shouting at me, and I'm shouting at him. Now you can imagine what the crowd must have felt. And eventually, I don't know, at some point it gets a bit blurry. because I started getting tunnel vision. Again, no drugs for me. And all of a sudden, I just see Scott jump into the crowd. He's just gone nuts. I'm not sure what happened next. I might have blacked out. But that's what I tell people if they ask. It took a long time for me personally, for the grief to kick in. I was angry at Scott for a very, very long time. The loss is overtaken now. I just miss my brother. <laughs> buy anything for three weeks. No comics, no crisps, no sweets. I went to the pet shop instead. I brought a tiny green snake. A grass snake, they called it. When I got home, I played with it. I had to hold it. It felt warm and soft. I liked the way it wrapped itself around my fingers, like an electric shoelace. And then, and then I realised I could never keep it. Not as a pet. Where would it go when I went to school? What would it eat? It was a stupid thing to buy. So I had to get rid of it. But how? All sorts of thoughts started occurring to me. Flush it down the toilet. Bury it. Throw it from a tower block. All the long while another thought was taking shape. A thought so wonderful it seemed like the only thing to do. So I got a frying pan and put it on the gas stove. Put a bit of butter in the pan and turned the gas up to full. I dropped the snake into the pan and it span round and round. Its skin burst open like the skin of a sausage. It took ages to die. A tiny mouth opened and closed and its black eyes exploded. It's wonderful to watch. All that burning, scaling, peeling. When it was dead, I cut it into bite-sized pieces and put it on a plate. I tasted it, like greasy chicken. I licked the plate afterwards. When mummy got home, she saw I'd been cooking. She didn't know anything about the snake. All she cared about was the scorch patch on the frying pan and hit me. She said she'd had to buy a new one now, but never did. Mm -hmm.